Good morning, Brother Ben here for our morning devotion. I entitled it, Your Every Day and Your Special Occasions Are His. One of my favorites of the Apostle Paul's writings is the book of Colossians, as he explains the supremacy of Christ and what that entails in our defining the days, festivals, affecting our eating and drinking, and our prayer time. It calls for a distinct way of life. Are you ready for this? Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 20, it reads, The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in Him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through Him and for Him. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together, and He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything He might have the supremacy. It says, for in him all things were created. That includes you. Then all things have been created through him and for him. That means he wants you. Yes, you. He created you for him. Now the second part is, Jesus paid for all our sins, nailing it to the cross. He bought us with his life, that we might live for him. He conquered death, but on the third day, he rose from the grave. Colossians chapter two, verses 13 to 15, it says, when you were dead in your sins and in this uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the charge of our legal indebtedness which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. Thank God. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. If he did that, then listen to the following verses. Colossians chapter 2, verses 16 to 17. Therefore, do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink, or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon, celebration, or a Sabbath day. These are a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. And so as Christians, we must abolish legalism. Okay, so here's the Christian pr perspective in eating and drinking. Ephesians 5.18, Be not drunk with wine, which leads to debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 10, verse 31 and 32, it also states, Whatever we eat or drink, or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. But when exercising your freedom, do not cause anyone to stumble. And remember, you are God's temple. If you are not taking care of your body in what you eat, drink, or even exercise, then you are destroying God's temple. Festivals. Festivals, special occasions, Easter Sunday, which we just had, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, these are just some days we traditionally attend church. Should other days be treated as better than the rest? The Bible says, today is the day of salvation. You don't wait till tomorrow to get saved. When is the Sabbath day? When is your Sabbath rest? It is when you place your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus to be, to be your Redeemer, 
to be your Savior and Lord. And until you have placed your faith and your life in His hands, you are, you are without perfect peace. You haven't really had your Sabbath rest yet. Amen. Traditionally, we attend church on a Sunday or to some, that's the only day they go to church. And sometimes we think other days are less spiritual. Is it? Of course not. We can worship God any, any day of the week. Okay. And so when is the best day to pray then? If that is the case, if, if we think that uh, uh, other days are better than, than the other ones, what is the best day to pray? We pray before we eat, before going to bed, and when we wake up, and when we pray a blessing to others. Those are well and good. Sometimes we look at other religions and we see them praying three to five times a day. And we as Christ followers don't even pray that often? It does not matter what day, what condition. The frequency of prayer time is pray always. Did I say once a day? No. Nope. The believers are commanded to pray without ceasing. Not three not four, not five times a day. In other words, pray always or pray continually. No specific day, no special day or time. There ought to be no more time to think about quitting or thinking about backsliding. Instead, pray, pray, and pray. Pray so you will not fall into temptation, Jesus said. Amen? So many voices out there. But we are to listen to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things. Reminding you, guiding you into all truth. Your days, all your Mondays, all your Tuesdays. Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, all your Sundays ought to be His. All your festivals should be His. Your special occasions. And don't forget, that includes your vacations. That includes your dates. They are to be His as well. He is the Creator. He is the Master Builder. He is your Lord and Savior. He is the lover of your soul. He is your Redeemer. So remember, whatever day it is, it must, you must live it out as another opportunity to praise the Lord. Amen? Amen.